So use Khan Academy. And if you use Khan Academy, you know you you don't have to use these thick books. I think my channel should be renamed like Khan Academy Advocate because the amount of times I've you know said use Khan Academy, but use Khan Academy. So maybe I do say use Khan Academy a lot. Let me actually explain what I mean by that. What's going on guys? So I'm bringing this brand new video and as many of you guys can see from my intro, I talk about Khan Academy a lot. Like I always say use Khan Academy for this, use Khan Academy for that. If you want to prove your score fast, use Khan Academy. And so for those who don't know, I tutor, right? A lot of my students, they always ask me, what do you exactly mean by that? So in this video, I'm going to actually show you guys what I mean by using Khan Academy and how you really can use it to improve your score and what I would do and how I would utilize Khan Academy to improve my score and hone in skills and practice skills that I need to, to you know, get that 1500, get that 1600 maybe. So let's get into it. You go to this website, uh, khanacademy.org slash mission slash SAT, and you see your dashboard. And, uh, and right off the get-go, you see all the practice test scores that you've gotten and the after SAT scores you got and PSAT if you took that what your scores were and you can really see how you progressed uh, you can say you can see how practice test 4 got 15 10 practice test 5 that's like a huge dip i guess i just wasn't feeling that day practice test 6 i got 15 10 and then the rest you guys already know about my 15 30 on my march one and 14 on the second one and that's really not the important part the important part is you want to see these current skill levels math and reading right so say you're weak at math you want to click on math and right away, you're shown all of these topics, right? You see heart of algebra, you see passport to advanced mathematics. And if you take, if you have taken the SAT before or even the PSAT, there's a college board gives you a breakdown on what you're weak at and how many questions you got right for passport to advanced mathematics, how many questions you got right for heart of algebra. And since heart heart of algebra is one of like the the one of the most heavily tested topics on the SAT, you really want to make sure you got everything here down. So say I'm a student and I really want to improve my uh, score on the math SAT, SAT and I know I'm really weak at linear functions right? and how to interpret them. So Khan Academy, they give you these resources where they have a basic example and that they, give that, they have a video where uh, Sal Khan, the master, he basically goes through a problem and shows how to do it and I'm not going to click on it for copyright reasons. Same for a harder example, it's another version of uh, how to interpret linear functions but a harder a harder example is given and if you're really able to understand what he's doing and mentally think about all the moves he's making why he's doing it you can really start understanding how you should approach SAT problems so if you go back to the dashboard say you watch the video and now you actually want to practice right so I'll do practice interpreting linear equations and you get you're basically given five questions and if you ever want to look back to the video you can click the video if you want a hint you can get a hint and Khan Academy, they help you for each question. For example, I'll do this question right here. The total cost C in dollars to produce B books given by the equation above. What does it mean at 1.5? So we know this is a slope because right, it's followed right below before the variable. And this is Y equals MX plus B form. So, uh, yeah, B. And you say check answer. And it tells you if you're right or not. And say you were wrong. So actually, I'll get the next one wrong. I'll just pick B. And see, it's, it says you're wrong, and basically, it tells you how to get the right answer. And you want to study this, okay? You want to study this hard. You want to look at how you get the right answer. You got to make sure you understand how to get the right answer. So next time a problem like this comes up, you don't mess up. And basically, you want to go through all five questions like this. And again, I got wrong. Uh, it's supposed to uh, something random. <laughs> I thought I got that right. And it picks something random. So basically, you can see how it gives you five questions, and you can see your, your results to really end. And actually, went down skill level. But what you really want to do is you want to get a skill level of four in all of these sub areas. And if you're able to do that, then you know you mastered that uh, area. So now I exited it, and now I'm looking back at the other topics. Now, say I also have trouble in uh, solving quadratic equations, right? All I have to do is just look at this practice right here. Uh, watch the videos associated with it, practice some problems, um, complete it, and I'll go back here because I actually don't want to, you know, waste time doing that. And if I'm pretty sure if I click it again, I get, no, I don't get new problems. But if you finish the first five problems and you do this practice again, you usually are given five new problems. So you can really keep doing one topic until you get every question right, all five questions right. That's how I would do it. When I struggled on a topic, I would keep doing the practice until I got all five right. 
And if I got all five right, then I'll be done that topic. I know I mastered it. And Khan Academy, well, another thing they do is up here, they give you uh, usually three uh, um, like mini tests that you have to take. But since I did Khan Academy to the fullest and I maxed out on every session of Khan Academy math, they only give me these 15 minute tests. And you can start the task right here. It's basically a, a mini SAT quiz they basically give you. And you can see right here, there's a bunch of questions that you can do. And really, it'll really help yourself. You really help yourself with these questions. Uh, yeah, I'm done with this time section. And then it tells you, again, the topics that were tested. And then, for example, say, over well, right here I got all these wrong because obviously I did what I did. But say I got all of these wrong, uh, right, but percents I got wrong. So I know, all right, percents is my weakness, okay? So let me exit this time section. And now let me go to percents. Let me try to find percents right here. Okay, so since I know percents is my weakness, let me do some practice on percents. And that's basically how you want to use Khan Academy to uh, maximize your score and maximize what you, you know, stuff you get wrong. And this is just for math. There's obviously uh, reading too. So same goes for reading. Uh, same goes for reading right here. There's uh, videos on how you want to approach the science passage. Um, there's two parts, two parts, two parts, two parts. And you can, and there's also writing language section, and you can really, again, hone in on the science passages by doing all the practices. And they have a bunch of science articles, like one after the other. It's usually one article per uh, 11 questions. So say you do bad on this article, the next article you do better. You can see wh what topics you're missing on the reading science section, what type of questions are you missing. And really by revisiting the Khan Academy for uh, the, the science section or, or history or or um, what are the other reading sections? Science, history, literature, and social science. But keep doing these pra keep doing these practices again and again, and you will like soon enough be able to get at least a ten out of eleven on the science passage, ten out of eleven on literature, history, and social science. And that's what I did was I will keep doing the science passages, the literature passages, even if they repeated, until I got at least ten out of eleven right. And I reached to the point where I was able to get eleven out of eleven on the science passages. And history was the one that I really struggled at, and that's kind of what hit me on the after SAT. Now, if I had to go back, I would redo history or um, practice more with history and watch all the videos associated with it. And I would really hone in on the history passages, and maybe I would have gotten an 800 English. You never know, right? So that's really how you want to use Khan Academy for math and English. Um, I didn't use Khan Academy for the essay, so I can't really uh, speak on that. But this is how you want to use Khan Academy, guys. So I hope I was able to break down how... I would use Khan Academy basically find what I find what I struggle on, find which topic I struggle on, do that topic, do a bunch of practices till I get all of them right for that topic on Khan Academy, and then move on to the next topic. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe. Peace.